Questions 1 through 10 on the 2014 Grade 11 Fermat Math Contest. What is the value of 15 minus 3 squared over 3? 15 minus 3 squared, that is 9. 15 minus 9 is 6, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. So number 1, the answer is A. The integer 2014 is between. Well, it looks like they're talking about powers of 10. It's definitely between 1,000 and 10,000, looking at powers of 10. 1,000 is 10 to the power of 3, and 10,000 is 10 to the power of 4. So the answer choices, that would be D. If x equals 2, then x plus 2 minus x times 2 minus x minus 2 equals. Well, the first one, the x is canceled, and the second one, the 2 is canceled. So all you're left with is 2 times minus x. Substitute x equals minus 2, or positive 2, I should say. It becomes minus 2 when you put it in here, and that gives you just negative 4. So number 3, the answer is e. Two positive integers x and y have x, y equal to 24, and x minus y is equal to 5. Then the value of x plus y is. x times y is 24, x minus y is 5. Some of you probably can do this by inspection, but even if you can't, no big deal. x is going to be equal to 5 plus y. Substitute that into here. 5 plus y times y is 24. So we have 5 y plus y squared minus 24 is 0. And this factors pretty nicely. y, y, 8, 3, positive, negative. So y is equal to 3 because, remember, it's positive, so it can't be negative 8. If y is 3, that means x is equal to 8. And therefore, x plus y is 8 plus 3, which is 11. So number four, the answer is B. In the diagram, square W, X, Y, Z has an area of nine, and W is at the center of the circle. If X and Z are on the circle, the area of the circle is. Well, if X and Z are on the circle, then these are representing the radius, the radii, those two. And they told me that the square has an area of nine, so that means if all the sides are the same, which they are in a square, then the area of that square would be just r squared, and that is equal to 9. So 9 is equal to r squared, r is 3. And now we have to find the area of the circle. Well, the area of any circle is pi r squared. In our case, r is 3, so it would be 9 pi. And therefore, number 5, the answer is C. If 50% of n is 16, then 75% of n is. 0 0.5 times n is 16. So if you multiply both sides by 2, you get n is equal to 32. And now I have to take 75% of the value of n. So 75 times 32. And that would be equal to 24. So number six, the answer is D. In the diagram, point T is on side PR of triangle PQR, and QRS is a straight line. The value of X is. Well, if this is 180 minus X, this angle here will be equal to X, right? Because the sum of those two have to add up to 180 and that's the only way to make it add up to 180. And now we've got a triangle that has values of 30, 2x, and x for their angles, and those, of course, would have to add up to 180. So we just do this math. Now 3x is equal to 150, and therefore x is equal to 50. And number 7, the answer is e. 
In a group of five friends, Amy is taller than Carla, Dan is shorter than Eric, but taller than Bob, Eric is shorter than Carla. Who is the shortest? Amy is taller than Carla, so that gives me this expression. Dan is shorter than Eric, so we can write like that, but taller than Bob, so we can write greater than Bob. And then Eric is shorter than Carla. I'm just going to write it here like that. Well, I can continue that by just putting an A here from this up top. And there you go. We got all the friends on one continuum, A greater than C, and so on. And the shortest is the one at the very end, which is B. So the shortest is Bob. B for choice, uh, choice B for number eight. In the diagram, PQRS is a square with side length 8. Points T and U are on PS and QR respectively, with Q, U is equal to TS equals 1. The length of TU is. All right, let's label what we can. This is 8, this is 8, and so are these sides because those are squares, sides of a square, I should say. And then Q, U, and TS are 1, so this little guy is 1, and this is 1. Well, it will help if we draw a line that draws like that across. And that means that this little guy is 1. And then the distance from here to here will be 8 minus 1 minus 1, which is 6. So that's 6. And therefore, this is, of course, 8 from here to here. And now we can figure out TQ pretty easily using Pythagoras, or TU, I should say. So TU is 8 squared plus 6 squared. That's going to be 64 plus 36, which is 100. And therefore, TU is the square root of 100, which is just 10. So number 9, the answer is C. A line segment of length 5 lies along the number line initially between 1 and 6. The line segment is rotated 180 degrees about the point 2. The resulting line segment lies between negative 2 and negative 3. This segment is then rotated 180 degrees, about point 0.1. The resulting line segment lies between. All right. So they've taken this line initially, and they rotate it 180 degrees. So then it ends up lying between 2 and 3. So it ends up like this. And then what they do is, again, they take that line segment, and they rotate it another 180 degrees. So they're saying, where does it lie now? Well, you just have to use a little bit of visualization. The point is right here, point right there, 1. So we are taking a line like this, and we're just rotating it so that this part from 1 to negative 2 will go from here all the way to here. And then this part of the line, which was from 1 to 3, goes from there all the way to here, like that. And that's what it means to be rotating 180 degrees. So now the line is between negative 1 and 4. And that is choice B for number 10.